Want to start selling your Procreate patterns on print-on-demand products but not sure how to prep them for platforms like Threadless or Redbubble? In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to take a finished pattern tile from Procreate, send it to your computer, open it in Affinity Photo, and apply it to shapes or templates, ready for uploading to your shop. Let's start in Procreate. I've got my finished seamless pattern tile here. Make sure it's exported as a high resolution 300 dpi PNG or JPEG. Then I'll just airdrop it to my computer, but you can also use email or cloud storage, whatever works for you. Once you have your file over on your computer, we're gonna right click and choose open with Affinity Photo. Then we need to get the assets panel up. So we go to window and enable assets. And then down here, we're gonna click this hamburger menu and choose add from selection. Now we've got a copy of our pattern here. And if I create a new document, we can then create a fill layer with it. So we go to new fill layer, press G so that the gradient fill tool is tooled. G will toggle between bucket and gradient fill. And then you can just click on your asset down here. It will apply it to the layer. It's gonna be really small, but you can just click and drag the nodes and adjust the scale like that. You can also use it to fill shapes. So if I hide this layer and grab the rectangle tool with U as the shortcut key for that. And we can just click and drag a rectangle. Again, press G to get this gradient fill tool. And then we can fill it with our fill like that. And again, you can adjust the scale of that. This is just the beginning of what you can do though. If you want to learn how to build out a full set of product templates, organize your assets and upload them to print on demand platforms like Redbubble and Threadless, come and join me in my new Skillshare class. So you've got a whole gallery of beautiful seamless patterns made in Procreate, but now what? How do you actually use them to start selling on print on demand platforms, especially for those bigger, more complex products like shoes, duffel bags, or backpacks? If you've ever felt stuck trying to get your patterns from Procreate into a product ready format without splashing out on expensive subscription software, you're absolutely not alone. And that's exactly why I made this class. I'm Rebecca Flaherty, a surface pattern designer and content creator from the UK. I help artists like you to make patterns and then turn them into beautiful, tangible products, whether it's fabric, wallets, stationery, dog harnesses, or print on demand items. If you've taken any of my other classes, you'll know I love helping you work smarter, not harder, and with tools and workflows that make your creative life easier. In this class, we're diving into Affinity Photo, a great value one-time purchase software that's perfect for pattern designers who make their patterns in Procreate, but want more options when it comes to applying those patterns to products. I know Affinity Designer is popular in the pattern world, but for my pixel-based workflow, which begins in Procreate, I found Affinity Photo to be my preferred choice for processing those designs. And if you're already used to using a certain subscription-based photo editing program, as I was, and are looking for a more affordable alternative, you'll feel right at home here. Affinity Photo looks and feels very familiar, and there are even a few things that I think it does even better. This class is specifically for artists who can already make a repeating tile and are now ready to step into the world of print on demand. You'll learn how to work with two popular platforms, Redbubble and Threadless, but the techniques I teach are totally adaptable to any platform you choose. In this class, you'll learn how to import your pattern tile and use it to fill entire layers or specific shapes. How to scale your patterns perfectly for printing and maintain resolution how to download and open print-on-demand templates from Redbubble and Threadless, and then use them to create reusable templates to speed up your workflow. How to make marketing assets like Pinterest palette pins and mock-ups that you can use over and over with just a few clicks. Plus, I'll share my own tips for organizing your design files so nothing gets lost in a sea of random JPEGs on your computer. This is an intermediate level class. You'll need to come with a finished pattern tile made in any software you like, as long as you can export it as a PNG or JPEG. I'd be assuming you're completely new to Affinity Photo, so I'll walk you through everything step by step. But if you've used it before, then this class might be just the thing you need to level up your workflow and start getting your patterns out into the world. If you're ready to go from I made a pattern to I made a product, then this class is your next step. 
Let's get those designs out of your iPad and onto the products they were made for.